It was in June, after two weeks of industrial action, the government agreed to pay public servants a 4.125% salary increase. Government officials and public sector trade unions were supposed to sign off on this agreement on July 31st. But CSA officials say they were informed by government that the deadline was not attainable, but the agreement will be signed at the soonest. The union's Education, Research and Industrial Relations Officer, Max Stephen Obertin, says a definite date will be better. What it means by the earliest, we don't know at the present moment. We are hoping that the earliest means earliest in the true sense of the word, and that agreement can be signed sometime in August. Obertin says CSA officials are concerned about a new development in the industrial agreement between the government and the unions. It involves the appointment of a subcommittee to review the terms already agreed upon by both sides. He says this is particularly disturbing. If and you negotiate with a team which has a mandate, then you expect that when you agree at the table, that agreement will stand. So as a result of all these new developments, we have written to the public service PS requesting clarification as to what his letter says. But it is not just the expired deadline that concerns the CSA. Orbitin says while the deadline is pushed back, CSA members are not receiving the fringe benefits agreed upon. Benefits they should have started receiving months ago. A number of benefits, um, fringe benefits, only come, are only, be, only become effective after the signing of the agreement. So it means that as far as my recollection goes, our last meeting discussing fringe benefits was in January of 2009. So it, so it, so it means in effect that if the, the agreement was signed, let's say in February, all the fringe benefits would have been, become effective in February. But it means now they are not effective in July, we are already in August. So obviously that affects our membership. The CSA is part of the Trade Union Federation, the umbrella body for the majority of public sector unions. The TUF's president, Julian Monroe, says the executive will meet on Monday to discuss the way forward. Orbitin says the CSA will go on without the federation for now, as only salaries were negotiated collectively. Alison Kentish, HDS News, Channel 4.